I think that what sets great fighters apart in large part is their ability to uh, manage and remain focused and in control of a long career. And I think you have done that maybe better than any fighter I've ever covered. And I think that that probably requires a pretty constant devotion to consistent goals that you know well and keep in your head. I wonder if you can remember, what were the meaningful goals back at the very beginning of your pro career? And how well do you think you've done in pursuing that? Uh, I think I start because I want to be a champion one day, right? That's my 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 goal at the beginning, you know, be a champion. And then uh, when I turn champion, I, I realize it's something more there and I uh, I just continue fighting because you know when you love something you always put short goals in your in your career and and that's when you go and build and build and build your your legacy a champion or the champion and let me let me say what I mean by that I'm not sure whether Americans like me make too much or too little of the fraternal competition for status among Mexican fighters. And I'm not sure whether we properly glorify that or over glorify it because it reflects so much drama. But the question to me is, how important was it to you to eventually be able to compare your accomplishments to those of Salvador Sanchez and Julio Cesar Chavez and Barrera and Morales and Ricardo Lopez and all the other great Mexican fighters? You know, I'm in boxing for that because I want to be one of the greats. And and for me, I feel proud about uh, hear that and 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 being in in the position uh, uh, in the same position they are. Because you know, I I I start boxing because I want to be one of the greats. And right now, uh, everybody mentioned that, and I feel I feel proud about it. So. Do you feel your resume stacks up the way you want it to now, or does it require more evidence of your greatness? I think so. I think so right now. I mean, I'm mean, I'm, I'm in there, but you know, I'm going to continue to do it just in case. All right. You've been fighting bigger guys than Jamel Charlo, Golovkin three times, Kovalev, Bivol. Now here comes a 154 pound opponent in a 168 pound package. Advantage Canelo? Or could he maybe be stronger, faster, a harder puncher at this new weight? I think I think he's he have the the body to 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 move up. I think he's good. I think he he have some struggles to make 154. No, but uh, I feel good when I jump two weight classes and 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 accomplish what I did. But uh, you know, uh, I think he's gonna be a, a great fight. I think 168 is your best weight now. Do you think it is too? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, it was rumored for a while that you were aiming to fight his larger brother. Uh, mm -hmm. Is Jermall still on your list as well? I don't know. I'm focused 100% in Jermall, and then we'll see what happened. What is next? So maybe you won't answer my, my next question either, but I'm going to ask it. You are the number one dollar for dollar attraction in boxing. And I suspect that you'll retire as the biggest gate attraction in the sport, regardless of what happens between now and that moment. Uh, but as the result of one recent setback, someone else is now seen as number one pound for pound. How important is it to you to try to get that back? No, you know, I feel I'm, I'm the best fighter in the world. I feel in that. I feel it from uh, from the beginning of my career, and I feel it right now. I don't care who's there. I think it's disrespectful uh, you name a one, just one, because uh, a few fighters deserve being the number one. So I feel I'm the best one for pound, and that's it. Are you interested in a fight with Terence Crawford, or is he too far down the weight scale for you to consider it? You know, you never know in boxing. If the fight makes sense, why not? Canelo, thank you for your time. Look forward to thank Saturday you. night. Thank you.